Hey everybody, we are here on top of the Flagler College rooftop, the solarium, and we're about to give you a really beautiful view of the lights and hopefully a really pretty sunset that you may or may not have seen. Um, some folks have been able to get up here, but not everyone does, so it's kind of like a behind the scenes insider tour. And I am gonna hand this over to Samantha Palmer of Flagler College. Hi, uh, I'm Sam Palmer. I am the Director of Historic Tours and retail operations for Flagler College here in St. Augustine, Florida. Uh, we are on the top of the ponds. Uh, Henry Flagler built this wonderful building in 1885, started in 85, finished in 88. And uh, this is a view that doesn't get seen very often unless you're here for special events, weddings, parties, dinners, you name it. Um, and sometimes we do tours in the summer if we are, we're allowed to. So uh, we are kind of looking here at our beautiful towers right now. It's up close and personal. Wow, they're just gorgeous. And I always love them this time of year with the lights. So beautiful. So I'm some background on this building. It was the first luxury hotel that Henry Flagler built in Florida before making his way down the Florida coast and developing Florida. Uh, our sister hotel that is across the street that we'll be picturing and showing you later, the beautiful Knights of Lights on the Leitner Museum, which was originally the Alcazar Hotel, so. Fantastic. Shall we come on over here? Because it looks like the sun is gonna do something kind of pretty with the sky. Perfect. Maybe we can catch that while you're talking. Yeah. So today you can uh, come and take a tour of Flagler College. We do historic tours of the ground floor of the former Hotel Ponce de Leon. And we just started our holiday operations uh, because our semester just ended here at Flagler College. So we have tours daily from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they will go through December 31st. Uh, we're closed for Christmas and for New Year's Day. Okay, that's great to know. So if folks want to sign up for the tours, um, where should they go? It's uh, the tours have to be, uh, tickets have to be purchased in person inside the lobby of the college at 74 King Street. Okay. And uh, if reservations are not required, but we do sell out sometimes uh, due to the nature of the holiday season. So, well, that's great to know. So, what we're going to do also, Sam, is we're going to invite folks to ask questions. So, everybody listening out there, we, I see there's a bunch of you already. Um, while you're listening, if you have questions, please feel free to ask them. And then Sam or myself will answer them if we can. If we can't, we'll come back into the questions later on or into the comments later on and we'll answer them at that time. Perfect. So are you ready for the big reveal? Let's, let's do it. So okay. uh, St. Augustine is celebrating their 26th anniversary of Nights of Lights. And we thought we would give you guys um, a top down view of the Leitner Museum, which is also the City Hall for St. Augustine, Florida. Wow, it is just gorgeous. I always feel so fortunate every time I get to come up here and see this. But with the lights, it's so much more special. And we have Susan Phillips has chimed in and she goes, there's Sam Palmer. <laughs> hey, Susan. Yep. So yeah, folks, this is, this is a, it's a one in a million view. I mean, we've been on numerous lists now for uh, Christmas towns and best of nights uh, lighting exhibitions uh, during the Christmas season. Uh, and we are proud, proud to be a partner with the town. So Knights of Lights, yeah, so being in its 26th year, you guys have had some practice getting the lights up here a bit, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and each year we add a little bit more on to the college itself, so. Fantastic. Um, and Knights of Lights will run through February 2nd this year. Um, so if you're not in town before the holidays, there is definitely an opportunity to come in January uh, when we slow down just a smidge um, to see the lights still up just without some of the crowds. Right, that sounds great. And we're gonna hope, it's gonna be getting a little bit darker here and the lights will be coming up a little bit more. But while um, we are just kind of enjoying this view, tell me again, so it's not been that long that the solarium's been open after the renovation. So right. when, when did that happen? So the last piece of the um, Ponce building itself was the solarium. And that was restored for the 125th anniversary of the Hotel Ponce de Leon's building. Uh, and that was finished in 2013 is when we opened it up to 
um, be a vital part of the college. Well, um, again, I've been up here several times and prior to that had never been up here, so I didn't even know what it looked like. And then I've seen the historic photos of you know, what they used to do and how they used to entertain up here. Can you imagine being here in that right. time? Well, and originally the solarium started off as the nursery area. So they oh, would send it? all the children upstairs to the solarium. And then the adults got smart and realized, oh, wait a minute, it's beautiful up here. And they turned it into a, it was a lounging area. So people would come and read. Sure. And just lounge around modern siestas, that kind of stuff. And then uh, when we were first, a, when we first became a college in 1968, uh, the solarium was used for multiple uses. Um, the library was located up here at once. The gargoyle, our magazine um, facilities were located up here as well. Um, I believe they used to have cheerleading practice. Cheerleading and, practice? Yep, and then the radio station at one time was located up here as well. Oh my goodness. So, yep, I've seen pictures of um, folks in their sort of Victorian era um, outfits of sunning. Yeah. Yes. If so. anyone would like to see historic photos, uh, the Library of Congress has a great uh, database of historic photos. Just research, search for uh, Hotel Ponce de Leon, and they will pop right up, and they're free to download from the Library of Congress. That's fantastic. I love that. So, um, folks, if you are watching out there, please let us know where you're watching from. We just noticed that someone was tuning in from the UK. Uh, we love everyone that follows us and um, gives us feedback and lets us know where they're following from. If you're wanting to come and see the lights, you can go to knightsoflights.com and you can get all the information you need about being here. But I'm going to answer just a couple quick questions. One, yes, it's free. You can walk around town, you can drive your car around town for free to see the lights. But we have lots of great tour opportunities as well as tours at Flagler College. Um, One of my favorite ways is the uh, the boat tours that are now being offered. Yes. And all that information is on nightsoflights.com. It is. Um, to go see. Uh, someone just mentioned uh, solarium tours. Unfortunately, the solarium is not part of our normal tour. Um, occasionally during the summer when we are out of session, uh, we can do very small tours, um, but it really depend is dependent on the college calendar. Uh, and the only way you can get up here is through an elevator, which really only holds eight people. So it's a very limited engagement when yeah. we do solarium tours. But that's why you had us come up here tonight. So yes. we can so show people this. You get a special view tonight. And yeah. if you're here for Nights of Lights and looking for something to do during the day, uh, we do do historic tours of the ground floor of the former Hotel Ponce. Uh, currently, they're daily from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the hour. Well, and I have to say that that is one of my most favorite tours. I've been on it, I think, I think I've been on it seven times now. Oh my gosh. And I love that all the students give the tours and they give their own little flair to it. And um, I don't think, every, every time I go, I see something different or I know, you know, I just learn something different. So it's fantastic. So we have a Flagler grad, 1989, Ruth Aldrich. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Ruth. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Hanukkah starts on the 22nd, I believe. So, no, we, uh, our students are fantastic and we love to give them the experience of learning how to publicly speak well. And so they are our tour guides. So every single tour is different. We give them a great documented script that was done by two of our history professors here at the college. And then we tell them to elaborate on what they find best about the building. And so everyone makes it their own. So they make it personal. Yep. And that's what makes it so good. Yes. Because it's not like you just go to a tour where you're going to hear the same time, same thing each time you go. No. And you're not the first one that's told us they've come multiple times. Yeah. Um, we actually have a bunch of locals as well that every time they have someone in town, they bring them. And they love coming back and seeing the new faces with the tour and finding out the stories of our students. Um, because a lot of times it's not the majors that you think that are doing the tours. It's not just our history majors. We get a lot of education majors, psychology majors, um, oh. economics, business. I did so. not realize that. Yeah. See, I didn't, I thought it would have all been, you know, in the PR communications, no. history kind of. Sometimes thing. our best tour guides are element, um, elementary education uh, students who are actually learning to be in front of a classroom. So this public speaking engagement really helps them to hone, to hone in on their abilities. Excellent. Hmm, folks, if you are having a hard time um, hearing us, we have a little bit of a low network connection. 
So bear with us. We're going to move over here again and see if maybe things pick up a little bit for us. And then we'll come back and check the lights in just a minute. Kind of fun. Let's go up the steps this time. Let's see if we can get that view up here of the sunset. Yeah, there we go. Huh. So here we are, we are uh, midway, not midway, kind of a quarter of the way up of the um, Western Tower. And this is the view, and you can see over there, that's the dome from the... Memorial Presbyterian Church, mm -hmm. which was actually just finished renovations on their dome. Uh, their cross came down during, I believe, Hurricane Matthew? Matthew. Irma. I think it was Matthew. So they, they raised enough money to restore the, the dome as well as putting the cross back up. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And I can even see that dome from where I live. Um, and of course I see the towers and everything and it's always wonderful at night at this time when the sky gets kind of purpley and um, I can see the profiles. I just love it. And it's, a, it's beautiful here in St. Augustine, Florida. The high today was 75. Yeah, I mean, it's what? It's the 16th, December 16th December today? December 16th, yes. Yeah, and it was 75 and sunny and just absolutely beautiful. 